Six years ago, Juan Fernandez had spleen surgery, but his intestines were accidentally sliced. He gradually deteriorated, um, became infected, and suffered an overwhelming infection that caused his death. His family sued and settled. It was the first robot-assisted operation Fernandez's surgeon had performed, and the robot may not have been needed. It was like using an 18-wheeler to go get a carton of milk. This death is now part of an FDA inquiry into a surge of reported problems involving a cutting-edge machine that's wowed surgeons and patients alike. About one quarter of U.S. hospitals now use the million-dollar multi-armed da Vinci surgical robot. Surgeons control it from a remote console. Inside the patient, the small robotic hand has no tremor. So the accuracy and perfection in suturing and, and in dealing with tissue is absolute. The robot allowed UIC surgeons to perform dual kidney transplant and obesity surgery on Adi Diaz. Another hospital without the Da Vinci turned her away, saying more traditional surgery was too risky. Hospitals heavily market the robot to germ up business, promoting less recovery time and less risk online and on billboards. What we're seeing nationwide is adoption that's driven purely by the marketplace and not by clinical superiority. Dr. Marty McCary says more study is needed to find out which procedures the Da Vinci is best suited for and to standardize training. Right now it's more of the Wild West. Intuitive Surgical makes the Da Vinci and says any spike in problems is due to a change in how it reports malfunctions. Right now there's no proof that the robot caused any deaths or complications. Bianca Davy, Associated Press.